What is a Medicaid divorce, also known as a gray divorce? This was a great question that came up last night in a continuing education program I was doing for social workers and nurses. And the question is, is does it make sense to get a divorce when doing Medicaid planning? To protect and preserve as much of your assets as possible, can you just get divorced and separate from your spouse that needs care? That way, protecting and preserving of as much of the assets as possible. This is something that can be done. There's a lot of ethical considerations the court's gonna look at when granting something like this. Is this in the best interest of both parties? Is it gonna leave one completely destitute? Uh, both sides need to have their own attorney. So there's a lot of complications with this. And truly, a lot of times there's a better way. There's a better way that we can keep the family together because I can't tell you how many times I've sat down at the table with a family, they were thinking they needed to do this because they either heard of it or Googled it or whatever the case may be, and they're just devastated that they legally have to get divorced, and that just doesn't have to happen. There's a lot of better different ways, Medicaid compliant annuities, asset protection trusts, um, you know, there's, there's really, everyone's unique situation is different, and so meeting with an elder law attorney to learn what strategy is best for you to qualify for Medicaid to help cover the costs of long-term care. If you need help with elder law planning solutions, call the Rakowski Law Firm, 248-792-9193.